happy Friday night to you. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Maloney. $7.35 billion. That's what's in Vermont's 2022 budget. And with the help of federal money from the American Rescue Plan, it makes big investments in some key areas. Local 22's Mike Hoey is live in the newsroom tonight with the details on this. Mike? Well, Lauren, the Green Mountain State's chief executive offered congratulations to lawmakers on their way out the door for the summer for making those investments. I appreciate marking the close of your session in May because I'm sure, as you remember, last year I was giving this address at the end of September. Governor Phil Scott addressed Vermont lawmakers Friday afternoon as they adjourned the 2021 legislative session. Back in January, he asked them to not only get through the pandemic, but to face longstanding challenges like affordability and regional economic inequity head on. My friends, we've done that. Vermonters are already better for it. And we've once again shown America what can be achieved when elected leaders have the courage to put progress ahead of politics. For her part, Senate President Pro Tem Becca Ballant said the legislature's upper chamber set and met many goals for itself this year that the Green Mountain State would find meaningful. Support to businesses, making real progress on broadband, childcare, housing, climate action, racial justice, continuing to reform our criminal justice system, supporting our schools, and bringing more voices into the conversations that happen in this building. In her closing message to the House, Speaker Jill Krowinski referred to this year's session as a whirlwind, but praised other benefits of the budget. This budget makes critical investments in our mental health care system. We stabilized our state college system with the largest investment in higher education in state history. Aside $190 million for housing, nearly $160 million for the Vermont workforce and economy, and $150 million for future pension stabilization efforts. Live in the newsroom tonight, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Mike, now for our coronavirus coverage, Governor Phil Scott.